The Viper ready to strike. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The Viper. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Now, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. There is no question, Randy Orton is one of the most vicious competitors we've ever seen. I agree, Saxton, and his venom is as potent as ever. Orton knows how to debilitate any opponent. Once the fangs come out, Orton aims for the kill. Here comes the court jester of WWE. There is nothing funny about this evil clown. And his opponent from parts unknown, weighing in at 200. And 45 pounds. Doink the clown. I tell you, Doink always has cruel tricks up his sleeve. I happen to think Doink is hilarious. Yeah, because you're cruel too. One thing he can't do, guys, is try to outthink the Apex Predator. You're right. It simply can't be done. This superstar needs to rely on physical ability. And from the look of things, Randy Orton's really been having a lot more fun lately. He has been, Cole, and that's what's made him even more dangerous. He's feeling himself. He's looser. He's more confident. Not that he ever lacked confidence, but he's not carrying the weight of the world anymore. I'd love to know his secret as long as it doesn't require me to RKO somebody. And he's being stared down by the sick, twisted Doink the Clown. I can only imagine what tricks Doink has up his sleeve for this one. Yeah, you never quite know what wicked tactics to expect from Doink once the bell rings. A sadistic superstar like him, that's what makes him so dangerous. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. In control here with a swinging neckbreaker. Textbook. Doink getting a taste of his own medicine there on the receiving end of some pretty effective punishment. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jarring. And the pressure on Doink continues to mount. Nothing for Doink to laugh about here. Oh, stop right to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. To stop in every single part of his body. Great reversal. Doink showing he's not out of it. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. The hardest thing to account for against Randy Orton is his experience. How do you possibly counter a guy with two decades of in-ring action under his belt? Against an expert like Orton, it's all about watching him closely. You need to avoid his big moves and chip away at him. Awareness is going to be absolutely key. Orton flexing his power with a fallaway slam. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, the longer this fight goes on, the more Orton's not going to make it easy on him. And Orton gets countered there. Orton gets the better there. From behind. Back suplex. Ooh, here's the 
cover. Just gets the shoulder up. That was a long two count there. Was mounted with punches and not caught the majority of that on the face. And now Doink is cracked open. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And he goes for the pin. And he kicks out at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Taking this one back to the ring now. Oh, back elbow. Doink steers clear there. Put it in a position now. Piercing the throat. Oh, the stop. Oh, with authority. Oh. I oh, had that well scouted. God, didn't need to counter into anything pretty, just a clubbing blow. But a counter power slam. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? From behind, back suplex. He's taking some good hits. Dwight using those mind games to good effect here. His opponent had a hard time keeping up. Pulled in from belly to belly. And now Doink has all gears in motion. Just chipping away at Orton here while watching out for any reprise. Oh, what a right hook. Tossed upside down with the backdrop. Got to find a way back in the ring now. Before the count runs out, Doink showing his prowess. And yet again, Saxton's proven wrong. You feel embarrassed yet? Point taken. I underestimated oh. Doink. Orton's finally able to slow all of those incoming attacks. Orton hoping to start a rush of his own now. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. DDT! He's going for the pin. This could be it. Kicks out. He still has life. That is just pure instinct at this point. Vicious right forearm. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Ooh, forearm connects. Orton clearly rocked by a precise attack there. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Oh, thump. Familiar face here joining in on the celebration. This has got to feel good. Well, this man has got to feel like he is on top of the world tonight. Not only do you win the match, you got your friend there to celebrate with you.
yippee, it's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. On their way to the ring, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. It'll be over soon. When Chelsea and Piper joined forces, it wasn't exactly a well thought out plan. Most people within WWE and on social media didn't think this would work out at all. I should be surprised by you two, Matthew and Brian. Whatever it is, you can't argue with results. This duo is big and bad. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. Tap, nap, or snap. And their opponents, first, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Space, Shayna Baszler. A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. The intensity in her eyes tells you all you need to know about Shayna Baszler. Yeah, when that mouth guard goes in, all bets are off. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, She's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Few can contend with the unbridled strength of Raquel Rodriguez. Plenty of hard work maintaining this unbelievable physique. And then she puts it to work in the ring to devastating effect. And we have action here with the self-proclaimed future WWE Hall of Famers, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. And frankly, ankle lock. And she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there just got denied by the rope break. Oh, there goes the ankle. Ouch. And again, showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Got it in the figure four leg snap. Ripping and tearing at the face of her opponent. Face gouge. Oh, God. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Into the corner now. Uh-oh. Able to beat Chelsea to the punch. An arm ring. What are they going to do here? Oh, no! Stop to the arm! Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Focus on the leg. Ooh. 
The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. Kick to the abdomen. God driven. And she goes for the pin. Fending off a two count there. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Right across the chest. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Oh, vicious headbutt. Raquel said, really? Yeah, as Piper Niven was channeling that ruthless aggression, just dominating the competition there. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Looking to work the arm with that. And finds a counter. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. What a close line! Ouch! Oh. Elbow puts an end to that. to her partner, Tag. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. Yeah, and you can see some of Baszler's ruthless fighter mentality coming out right there. Baszler taking a moment to see if the fans will show some love. Uh-oh. High angle belly of back suplex. Right to the leg. Ooh, a little shot. Just making their opponents suffer with their boot. Oh, absolutely punishing. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? A kick out of only one. This battle rages on. Watch her set up in the corner. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. She's fighting back. deep into their well to keep this match going. Trouble now. 
This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Mounted palm strikes. Ducking out of trouble. Dominating cross body. Hoping to end it here. This is it. She kicks out with force. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. This was over. Put into the corner now. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Quick thinking from Piper. Dumped face first. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Piper extends her elbow. She's in. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Face first into the middle turnbuckle. That offense really hitting her hard. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Some control. <laughs> Caught the leg. <laughs> Hit with the cutter. Shayna calls her fans the Queen's Army, and she's calling them to her side here. Tag is made, and here we go. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. You can see the toll this match has taken on these competitors. The pain. Up and... It's an awful driver. Did Niven end it there? Cover! Got a kick out. She's not done yet. Baszler summoned everything within her being to stay alive. That was fighting spirit personified. And now it's reload time. Time to find another moment to pull off that one more time. Tag is good. Oh, golly. Devastating teamwork. It might only be Hart keeping Shayna Baszler in this match. We're about to see how tough she really is. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way. Shoulders down! Shoulders shoots up before two. This match continues on. Toss. Nasty knee. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Arm stomp. I don't know about Shayna Baszler has it cinched in. Carol Fuda Crutch. I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh. Teammate in to save the match. Not over yet. Yeah. Oh, vicious headbutt. Rich in the arm. Oh, close line. Spear! Oh. Oh. Just deadlifting there. Turn it into a, a gut wrench suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another. Oh. A second gut wrench suplex. Don't do it! Oh, no! A 
huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. in off the tag. One, two. <laughs> First a knife edge chop and now continuing Three. the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. And it's gonna cost them. That wasn't smart. Uh, here we go to start this thing. A little uh, stare down. And maybe a show of respect. Why not? Shake their hand. There we go. That's how we need to start a matchup. All right, now that pleasantries have been exchanged, let's tear each other apart. That was mutual respect between the competitors. Well, I appreciate true sportsmanship. There's the battle. We've already seen the respect these superstars share for each other. Yeah, but that can always backfire. You can't always expect the same mutual respect from everyone you meet. You're not totally off base there, Corey. Head to the tournament. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Elbow throw saying not today. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, the reversal by Cross. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Straight impact on the throat. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. He goes for the quick pin. Throws up the shoulder. He isn't gonna go away that easy. He skirts away, living to fight another day. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, right across the throat. Seated on their opponent, trapping their arms to the back of the neck. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you wanna win. it right back. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Looks like Ryan's future just flashed before his eyes for a second after that. I think Cross just advanced the count on the doomsday clock with that attack. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Cross is taking command of this one. Yeah, Cameron just keeps getting cut down. Enough already. How does one contend with the devastating power of Cameron Grimes? If Grimes gets on a roll offensively, he can quickly overwhelm you. So you have to find ways to disrupt his rhythm and dictate the flow of this match. The more you control the tempo, the more you control Cameron Grimes. Stretching and tearing it all the ligaments in the leg. 
A heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. And Grimes just took a licking there. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Huge elevation on the backdrop. Consecutive attacks keeping Grimes off his game. Smart move here. Looking to disrupt Grimes' rhythm and dictate the flow of this match. To the back of the neck. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Turned that one around. Crucial turn around there because Grimes is falling behind. Yeah, his instincts are taking over. And he's taking this to the outside now. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Going up, uh-oh. But right hands create separation and an escape. Kicks out the knee. Watch this, this is breathtaking. Into a German suplex, wow! That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, that's gonna hurt. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Gut wrench suplex! Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's gonna drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Cameron Grimes on a collision course. Grimes just made him pay the price with that one. Oh, a stiff boot to the face. Foot landing directly on the face. Momentum is really on Grimes' side. You said it. Grimes is holding nothing back. He's in a little bit of trouble now. The technical skills of Grimes serving him well as this match goes on. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. That gets reversed on Grimes. He finally creates some more offense for himself. Could be what Carrion needed to ignite a rally. Cameron Grimes has his opponent. There's a small package driver. Grimes has it wrapped up. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here is your winner, Cameron Grimes. When you share mutual respect with your opponent, it can give you a confidence boost. It looks like that boost helped one more than the other here, though. Come on, Byron, not everyone can win. I have a feeling that this win and the show of respect will get noticed by the higher-ups. Yeah, Byron, this might be a landmark moment for them.
And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Accompanied by EO Sky, Bailey, and Dakota Kai. Damage control. Attitudes and personalities aside, Damage Control is one of the most impressive factions we have ever seen in the women's division, ever seen in WWE at all. They are arguably the most decorated team to ever be in WWE too, Michael. That's where a lot of the attitude comes from. A team of winners all coming together for a common goal, taking over the women's division that they so clearly belong on top of. Could that be it? Quite simply, nobody can stop damage control. Here comes the unholy union. Yeah, and they... Saxton, Byron, what are you doing? Get out from under the table. Get a match to call. Now leave me alone, Corey. And their opponents, the team of Isla Dawn and Elba Fire! These two women are self-proclaimed practitioners and scholars of the dark arts. And they're not afraid to use their dark powers to get ahead in WWE. Mischievous, devious, cunning, all part of Fire and Dawn's dark personas. The Scottish sorceress is ready for action. They are enchanting, they are sinister, and they are downright dangerous. A team that loves to wreak havoc within the women's locker room, both in and out of the ring. Damage Control is ready to compete here tonight. As talented and decorated as every woman in this team is, for some reason, all the accolades in the world still somehow aren't enough for them. They feel the need to rule the division with an iron fist. Any tactic they can think to gain control, they'll take. You can be sure of that. And they'll be facing Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. The self-proclaimed unholy union surrounds their opponents like vultures so they can cloak them in sheets of darkness. Their lethal tandem offense leaves victims to wither away for all eternity. Looking into their eyes is like entering the underworld, Corey. It's the dark forces that make Alba Fire and Isla Dawn such feared opponents. No one's safe. It's gotta be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you wanna rework the game plan about now. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Oh. And a series of vicious stomps. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Using the forearm to their advantage. That showed it. Will this be enough? We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Placed in the corner. She's staying elusive. Oh, Bailey not looking very role model like there. Quite the opposite of fact. She's being made somewhat of an example here. <laughs> Bailey did her homework there. She had it scouted. I 
for an eye here. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. That will keep Dawn at bay. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stumps. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. This is why it's good to have a manager. It's good to have an ally who wants you to win as badly as you do and will introduce any tool to produce victory. Step up in Zagiri. She got her down. Is this it? to three. No celebrations yet. <laughs> Toss back into the ring. <laughs> oh, Ooh, stiff punch. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. And a kick to boot. Oof, insult to injury. Teamwork making the dream work. This could do it. Turn around, ref, the action's behind you. She gets a quick kick out there. Not even close. Sucking the tree of woe. No escape in sight. Bailey able to counter. Toss to the outside. And their night's about to get worse. Corner post baseball slide. under the ropes.
Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. She's looking for the win. And she breaks the count. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Over to the jump. Alba Fire digging deep into the arsenal here. The glory bomb. She bails in a hurry. Here we go. Diving Hurricane. Whoa. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. That looks painful. Oof, she hit the corner hard. Had that one scouted. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah. She adjusts it and reverses it. She was done there. in the nick of time. Answered with a stiff uppercut. Delivers a kick right to the gut, off the ropes. Into a hurricane runner. Spiked him. She covers for the pin. Incredibly impressive showing by this tag team. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft.
We are about to witness youth and power personified. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed. A collegiate wrestling All-American certified powerhouse now as a pro. This man's a machine. Now, ever since joining WWE, he has started dominating and never looked back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to go down. We are about to see a wrestling clinic. And his partner, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 230 pounds. Julius Creed! This is a man who does not know fear. A relentless competitor dedicated to peak performance. And Julius Creed looks to make a crushing statement tonight. Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring general, Guter. And accompanied by Guter at a combined weight of 440 pounds. Giovanni Benci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperium Imperium is steadfast in their belief that the ring is sacred that it must be protected from those who are true wrestlers they harshly judge anyone who would claim to be as good as them and their noses couldn't be any higher in the air well, maybe some superstars deserve to be looked down on. Maybe not everyone is as good as Imperium. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's a superiority complex there, Corey. And then there's whatever Imperium has going on. As regimented as a military unit, Imperium will beat you down with ruthless efficiency. It's actually kind of scary. They attack with clockwork timing and precision. Imperium believes that most of the WWE has lost their respect for the ring. They believe it falls to them to return honor to this industry. Sounds noble when you say it like that, but it usually boils down to them annihilating anyone who they think isn't on their level. And for Imperium, that's literally everyone else. True enough, Imperium has an exceptionally high opinion of themselves and aims to prove they're better than the rest by utterly destroying them in the ring. As for their opponents, we know how athletically gifted the Creeds are. How their in-ring acumen and technical skills are amazing. Julius and Brutus can also throw hands in a brawl and take everyone out. Oh, the Creeds are quite comfortable using their digits. Many believe that when we see Julius and Brutus compete, we're seeing the future of tag team wrestling, and I can't dispute that. Unbelievable athleticism. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Getting him into the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Look at this. Going right after the left arm. Got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Grabbing an item from under the ring is perfectly within the duties of being a manager. Chility, nice arm drag. 
Now, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. That's a hold of the arm, a chop for good measure. Not done yet. Incredible athleticism. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Oh! He's in off the tag. What a punch! In full control here, face first. Oh, Kaiser holding him at bay. Nice cross body. And into the count. Two. And a kick out at two. The end was in sight. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Short 12 line hits its mark. Tag switching it up. Nice half kick, great elevation. back into the ring. Face scrub. Nasty. Brutus Creed showing absolutely no fear of his opponent. It up. Big power slam. He can end it here. He's got him. <laughs> On the ropes, referee breaks the count. Evading offense. German suplex. And now. Giovanni is thriving off the audience. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Close line. Oh, and sky high with the brain buster. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. By the throat into the top rope. Oof. And Vinci is keeping the match at his pace. Julius might be in a panic soon. Loading and put your attention back to the match. Tag made. Tag made. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Set up in the corner of the ring. And Giovanni didn't find a counter to that. That's the kind of physicality we can expect from Brutus. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT connects. Arm ringer. Well, that changed. Ah. 
Pow! What a shot. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. Alley oop! Look at that. close to ending it all there. Compromised position here. Boom! Goes tumbling to the outside. Uh, what a punch. This incredible power. The Gorilla Press. Wow. That prevents offense from Brutus. Hits the drop kick. As the oh, close ride delivered, stepping through, holding on for another. They are just trying to punish their opponent right now. Big lines. Tag is registered. Uh-oh. Cross the shoulders. Ludwig Kaiser with an air raid crash. Looking for the victory. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Quick shoulder up. How did he do that? He got whipped into that corner. Down with a power bomb. Oh! This their opponent's oh. legs. Oh. Just, that's a free fall. Taking out the arm, great strategy. All of Ludwig's impressive self-discipline couldn't save him from that attack. Hard hitting damage from Creed. One on to the 10th Street. Here he goes for the win. Kick out just before two. Still gonna take a massive effort to keep him down. into the corner. In full control here, face first. Turning the tables there. Yeah. Hoisted up on their shoulders. Nice Oof. reverse fireman's drop. And these guys are trying to prove they belong in the main event, that they are on top of the mountain here. Big time confidence leading to big time matches. I love it. Inverted DDT. My goodness, that'll stop anyone. A uh, foot just stopping down. Tag. And tag, he did it. Let's go.
This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. They should still be proud. The American Nightmare has arrived. The son of a dream looking to realize his destiny in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know 
He's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. Destruction is now imminent. And his opponent from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! I'll tell you this much, the monster of all monsters is more than just a nickname. This monster has stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with every giant in WWE and slain them all. Looking at a man who's about to come face-to-face -face with his greatest nightmare. Unfortunately for him, this is one nightmare you can't wake up from. You've got to live through it. Cody will make sure of it. Cody Rhodes out here tonight, always a chip on his shoulder, always with something to prove. And he competes like it. But I would argue that if there is any WWE superstar who has already proven all they have to prove, it is Cody. Absolutely undeniable every time he steps between the ropes. That is the legacy Cody Rhodes wants to uphold. And he's got to deal with the monster of all monsters, Braun Strowman. Just an absolutely unstoppable force in the ring. You can compare Strowman to a lot of objects, but you can't compare him to a mere human being. His stature and build are those of epic, mythic proportions, something you'd only read about in fairy tales. Good man. And down with the suplex. He's returning fire. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Cody Rhodes performing at his very best now that he's back in WWE. Corey, how can his opponent prepare tonight? Cody Rhodes loves to play mind games with his opponents. He is the American Nightmare after all. If you're up against Cody, the key is not to let him get in your head. Otherwise, you've already lost. Wow, springboard attack. Braun got out of there. Caught with a big boot. On the mark. Cody's heart being put to a test now. Took the wall slam. Now that'll do. He can do it here. And the referee stops the count before two. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Setting up for something here. Right across the larynx. And Rhodes able to reverse that. Just mounted with punches and not in a the cover. He narrowly avoids the count. He thought he had it. And he sends him into the corner. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Using the ropes. Headed to the top now. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. Shot after shot. Oof, ruthless striking. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Oh, my gosh, from what? He thinks he has it. Pushes through after two. This could be a tipping point in this match. Big forearm. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. He was waiting for him to make his move.
Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Flinged across the way. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Cody looking for the win. Crossroads. Serious jeopardy for Strowman. Cover. Two. Later, Cody Rhodes has done it. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Braun Strowman finding himself on the losing side tonight. Wow, we just saw a monster slayer strike right before our very eyes. Here comes Sami Zayn. Underdog no more. He has reached main event status. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212. Over the years, we have watched Sami Zayn transform from perennial underdog to a true main event player. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. Sami Zayn's a world-class competitor, no doubt about it. He just needs to make sure to get out of his own way tonight. Stay out of his head. He's arrogant, he's abrasive, 
but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. The czar of WWE, Ilya Dragunov. from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT Champion, Ilya Dragunov. You are looking at one of the hardest hitting competitors in NXT history. A man who's ready to unleash fury on the entire WWE roster. Often called the Czar of NXT. Right now, Ilya Dragunov looking to expand his power to all of WWE. Here we go, triple threat matchup, and in this one, you've got to keep an eye out for these superstars taking advantage of the stipulations. For this one, it'll be Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, and Ilya Dragunov. Triple threat matches are a beast of their own. No disqualification, no count out, and twice the threat of being pinned or submitted. Out of the ring your bell. What impact! Oh, that's that's a line. It's cinched. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. And he's able to fight Dragonov off. No! Four on to the base of the skull. Snap German suplex. Has it hooked in? In the small package driver. He's been placed in the corner now. A stalemate of counters. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. The clubbing forearm. There's a reason this is called the triple threat match. The threats are everywhere, Cole. Two opponents, zero. He thinks he has it. Stop the ref count before two. So resilient. Stiff elbow will break that up. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Zayn able to adapt. All right, here we go. Inferted DDT! Lights out. Kick right to the back of the leg. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, Sammy just brought the fight to him. Steered clear of that. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Oh, the European uppercut. Hit through the ropes. Boom! Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? 
And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. And if you take one too many of those, we know how this match is going to turn out. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. And it looks like Dragunov is bleeding after that. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. German suplex turns the tide. Boom! again. Face Buster plants him. Oh, what a super kick from the architect. Not a forearm. Ow! He saw it coming, taking advantage. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. This could be it. Cover. search of a second win now. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Escapes in a nick of time. Get back here. Leg Larian. And as this match rolls on, Rollins is taking on even more crucial damage. Yeah, triple threat. Can he score the pin? That could have been it right there. First with a waistlock takedown. He went right into that. Oh, kick by Sami Zayn. Dragunov is out. That's it. Makes the cover. And they're still in this. Ilya Dragunov with a tremendous kick out. And you have to think that the mad Russian has found a new reserve of adrenaline that's only going to make him stronger from here on out. And Zayn is losing his mind right now. Repositioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. And that was a precisely measured attack. Oh, gotta stun you. Oh, saw what was coming and answers with the clothesline. Uh-oh. German suplex released. Back drop suplex. And the cover. He breaks the ref's count before two. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Wow, what a spine buster. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Setting up. Looks like a damn power bomb. This match may be nearing its limit. This is a very dangerous situation now. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Counter after counter. Tossed into the corner. Hooked up in the corner. And what's he looking for here? He may get the three count right here. This is it. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Meet face. Chop. Torpedo Moscow. And I think, oh, oh yeah, Zane is bleeding. What a four. Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. The stop. We've seen this win match. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. He is standing tall, standing proud, and standing victorious after that battle, gentlemen, beating one other superstar's no walk in the park, let alone two.
Now the matchup underway. Oh, the referee and the official's down. And these two don't care at all. What, what about the official? Someone check on him, please. And can the match continue? The ref took a nasty fall. We knew this was going to get out of hand. I didn't realize it was going to happen this quickly. We need to restore some sort of order. Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on a swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. <laughs> Reversal on Lashley. <laughs> Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. <laughs> There's one teardrop suplex. A second one. No way. Oh. The trifecta. Hopefully the tank hasn't run dry after that because it took a lot of strength. Whoa. Countering with a chop block will alter any attack. Reigns has his opponent in a fireman's carry and switches into a flapjack. He's got him down. Is this it? A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Insulting. And I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. Into a power bomb. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Lashley's losing any kind of advantage here. Overwhelming attacks for Roman now. Lights out. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. <clears throat> Answering back. And Lashley is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Yeah, Lashley able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match? And you have to think that Lashley and Reigns are just going to start throwing haymakers. What's the thing you like to say, Corey? Reinforce the ring? To hell with that. Bring back the coal mine and let me hide in it. The only way Lashley or Reigns wins this is by tearing the other one apart. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Elbow drop. <laughs> Fans off the attack with an elbow. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Isolating their opponent's arm and... Oh! Delivering nasty stops. That. Roman Reigns, he's got to put him away. No get nothing. Oh, Lashley with good timing on the reversal. Incoming. Crash landing powerbomb. That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. Elbow drop. Piercing. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Uh, 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 
Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up yes. and driven down with a jackhammer. Off into the pin. Two. And he powers out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Attacking the arm. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! They might not be in the best shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Frazier, sure knows how to soar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey, the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Oh, believe it or not, Nathan Frazier was actually trained by Seth freaking Rollins, perhaps the most prized pupil of the visionary. Well, that training's apparent from Nathan Frazier's innovative style and offense. Maintains a devil-may-care attitude towards any opponent. High flying, high risk, high reward, all too familiar for Nathan Frazier. Well, hopefully Nathan learned a lesson or two from Icarus. And his opponent from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE.
Nathan Frazier, the young high flyer, ready to get this thing going here. Daredevil ways, fearless attitude. Frazier is the real deal. We've never seen him give anything less than his all in the ring. And tonight should be no different. Absolutely, Byron. This young man is all about pushing the limits, going all out every time that bell rings. He's squaring off against Baron Corbin, who really has a renewed sense of focus as of late. This might just be the most dangerous version of Corbin we've ever seen. Corbin's rediscovered that thing that made him such a fierce competitor in the first place, that lone wolf mentality. No more distractions, no more bells and whistles. Going up against Corbin requires sound strategy and focus. You can't take your eye off Corbin for a second because you can find yourself the victim of an all-out assault. Now you need a ring awareness that's off the charts just to survive Corbin's fury. Know where you are at all times and do not get trapped in a corner. If that happens, Corbin will use his Golden Gloves boxing experience to reign. A bear hug furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. Bad predicament right here. Powerball all the way to the outside. The fight could get very dangerous out at ringside now. What a headbutt. And Nathan dodges that one. Whip back into the ring. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. And he gets set back into the ring. Into the corner. This can't be good. Can he do it here? Just kicks out. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Strong forearm. And basement haymaker taking that. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Just disrespectful. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. of counter. And here's a cover. Kick out just in time. Somehow, some way. Boom! What a right. Gosh. Corbin is really showing his vicious side. This has become all Corbin. And outside. Suicide Tornado DDT. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. What great agility. Dealing out some damage and looking good doing it. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Corbin gets stymied. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. Ah, striking with an A. And I can see some fresh blood on the face of Corbin now. And Zagiri finds its mark. And Baron now is being chopped down. Unbelievable ring awareness to keep ahead of Corbin and his strikes. 
trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Springboard moonsault. of effort to overcome the pin attempt. That's gotta be it. He gets the kick out after the one. There is no quit in this man tonight. Oh, clothesline. Connected with the knee. just won't give up. <clears throat> Lined him up. Oh, and a forearm. He has just completely lost his wind. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. The night looks to be coming to an end for the Lone Wolf. Just cranking the head. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Frazier up top. Nice. And Nathan Frazier capitalized with that move. A big reward for him there. And Frazier with momentum on his side. Corbin might just be waiting for an opportune time. The WWE Universe on the edge of their seats, waiting to see which way this ends. If this lands, it's over. Good Lord, that's it. Call the match. Victory nearly in hand for Frazier. What a kick out at two. I got to hand it to Corbin there, showing a lot of determination to avoid the pinfall. It is. If this lands, it's over. Good Lord, Phoenix Splash. One of the most impressive moves I've ever seen. Pin. That'll do it. The victory tonight. Here is your winner. That was an impressive win by Nathan Frazier. Yeah, Nathan Frazier was as impressive as ever, and it really paid off.